Hey everybody, it's Mark Tolan back with a few more ideas straight out of my mind and into yours. Since it's the start of the year, I figured we would talk about what is in my camera bag for 2021. Let's go. Logging into system. Before we begin, a few very important points. First off, this is not a sponsored video. All right, I paid for all of the gear in this video with my own money and I actually use it. So these opinions are my own. Second, I'll be linking everything down below. They are affiliate links, of course. So if you click on them, they'll help out my channel, but they won't cost you anything. And finally, my style of work might not be what you do. I'm not a run and gun filmmaker. I'm not making travel films or vlogging. A lot of what I do is like promo videos or shooting my own performances. So everything I do has a lot of preparation that goes into it beforehand. So when I finally set out to shoot, I usually know 95% of what I'm gonna capture before I ever begin. So with that in mind, before we talk about what's in my bag, I should show you what bag I'm currently using. This is the Edelkrone backpack, and it is a big bag, but it holds my slider, camera, lenses, and all my other gear. So it gets the job done. As I mentioned, I'm not a run and gun filmmaker. So I have this pack so I can travel to a location and work on a project. I make a lot of promo videos for my work, shoot live events, time lapses, and some short films. So this bag can hold everything I need to work on those projects. Is it the best bag out there? No, I don't think so. If you're gonna be throwing it around, like tossing it in and out of the trunk of your car several times a day or something like that, you might wanna get something a bit more rugged but it is the perfect bag for what I need in this moment. It has plenty of pockets, reliable straps, and it's large enough to hold my go-to gear, which brings me to what's inside. This is the Edochrone Slider Plus. It's the version five, long edition. If you wanna add motion to your shots, then this is a great option for you. The great thing about the Edochrone sliders is that they have this really cool feature that doubles the length of the slider when attached to a tripod. It means the slider takes up less room in your backpack while still allowing you to get those dynamic slider shots. The slider is easily controlled with the Edelkrone app on your phone, which allows you to control the speed of the slider, mark positions for repeatable motion, shoot time lapses, stop motion, and more. Plus, it comes in a lot of different sizes depending on your needs. I'll be talking about the slider in depth more in a future video but for now this is one of my favorite pieces of gear in my bag in 2021 for now here are the accessories i have in my bag to get the most out of my slider first the edelkrone slide module which turns the slider plus into a motorized slider you can power it with a power cable but i prefer to use the canon lpe6 battery bracket so i can use it anywhere i also have really been enjoying using the edelkrone flex tilt head, which attaches to any tripod for more versatility. It's really solid and well-made and possibly the most useful piece of gear in my entire bag. Next is my current camera, which has been my trusty companion for many years now. This is the Canon 80D, a very popular camera for YouTubers. It's lightweight, easy to use, has great autofocus, a flip out touchscreen, and you can even add some log profiles to it if you're trying to get a certain look. It also works well on the Edelkrone slider. I highly recommend it if you're just getting into making videos or wanting to upgrade your budget camera for something a little better. That being said, I am looking to upgrade this camera very soon, possibly to a cinema camera. When I do, I'll make a video about the new addition to the bag, but for now, this is the camera I'm using. Here are the current lenses in my bag. They're all Canon lenses. So this is a 10 to 18 millimeter lens. It's great for vlogging or talking head videos. This is a 50 millimeter lens, which I really enjoy using for certain projects. And this is my new favorite, a 16 to 35 millimeter zoom lens, which I stole from my wife and I'm not giving back. <laughs> I can say that here. I don't think she watches my videos. Now let's talk additional cameras that I have with me. This is the Insta360 ONE X. It's just such a fun camera. I love having this thing with me. You can take 360 photos and videos, tiny planet photos, and more. I also pair it with the Magic Selfie Stick right here, which gets magically 
removed from your photo or video in the final edit. It's absolutely amazing. It gives that eerie feeling almost like a camera is flying in front of you or following you around. It's crazy. Next up is the GoPro Hero 7 Black, a great tool for time lapses, cramped shooting locations, action shots, and more. Obviously, it barely takes up any space in my bag, so it's worth having with me as an additional camera. The final camera in the bag is the Canon G7X, my favorite point and shoot. Again, this is a very popular camera for YouTubers and deservedly so, it's a workhorse. If I'm just going out in the city, I'll usually just put this in my normal backpack as my go-to camera for the day. It has uh, the nice flip-up touch screen, it's lightweight. It also works on the slider if I need it to. I love this camera. The remaining gear in my bag are just accessories to make my life easier. For audio, I use the Rode Wireless Go paired with the Lavalier Go. I've been using this successfully on Zoom shows that I've been doing, virtual shows, and I also use it when I'm on the road and having to film myself on stage. Really, really handy. I also have the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, which mounts nicely on the ADD and is useful for capturing environmental audio, quick interviews, talking head stuff. Uh, it's just really good. If the wireless Go batteries run out, I'll end up using this. To finish off the gear in my bag for 2021, I have just a few more fun accessories that I use from time to time to make my videos better. Starting with this, this is the Osmo Mobile 4. It's a really great smartphone gimbal. I will use this from time to time to get a quick hyperlapse, maybe uh, take some panorama shots, but it's also just a really fun thing to have in the bag as well to shoot maybe some behind the scenes or something like that. And of course, I'll take this when I travel because it's just a more portable solution for trips and those sorts of things that I might capture on the road that aren't my personal projects, but when I still want to capture some video. Next up, we have the Aperture MC RGB LED light right here. I have two of these. I have two of these, super great. This is a diffuser that goes over. You can change uh, the color, you can change the temperature. It even has some fun effects on here and it's easily controlled with a little uh, wheel and menu on the light itself. I love this, I love this pair of lights. It's in the bag just in case I need some of those effects, just in case I need some fun features, just in case I need to light the scene. I mean, it's super portable and lightweight. It charges um, with included cables and it even has magnets so you can lock it to something up in a car, on a mic stand, all sorts of things like that. These lights are amazing and they're very, very cheap. So highly recommend these, the Aperture MC RGB LED lights. Last but not least, that brings us to the final piece of gear in my kit and that would be the Manfrotto tripod and video head. To be fair, it doesn't fit in the bag. I carry it separate, but it's a super reliable tripod and I take it with me when I go to do my projects. The fluid head is really great. It's got a quick release plate, so you could swap that out onto other things. I'll use it with like my overhead top-down rig or a Ronin S, things like that. So it makes that part of your process a little speedier. So it's just a really reliable, versatile tripod. I highly recommend that piece of gear as well. There you have it. That's what's in my camera bag right now in January 2021. If you have any questions about any of the gear I mentioned, please leave a comment and I'll try to answer it in a future video. For now, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. See y'all again soon.